you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. Well, good morning. Thanks for checking in here. We'll check in with Alaska and Hawaii, find out what's going on there. And here we see Alaska, the Gulf of Alaska here. And this is the low or part of the energy that sent that very strong storm into the west over the last several days and it's affecting the southern parts of Alaska here. Anchorage, Anchorage reporting some light snow and um, fairly mild, well, I shouldn't say mild because it's not real mild, but below freezing temperatures there. And uh, even down the Aleutians here, some light snow being reported. Now, as we take a look at the forecast highs for Alaska, we'll see. Well, actually, this is the actual highs for Wednesday. Anchorage was 25, and if they wanted to break their record, they'd have to get up to 46. So we're still a little bit above normal, but definitely need to uh, maybe get another 20 degrees or so to uh, reach that record. Very cold, Bettles, 1 degrees. Barrow, look at that, minus 12. And we'll look, take a look at Hawaii, and we'll see not much going on down in there. Maybe just some low clouds and uh, temperatures in the 80s. Come back, we have the five-day outlook. Yes, it's coming to me. Just a moment. Hello, happy psychic helpers. Oh yeah, I see a lot in your future, lady. Have Let you called that, those yeah. other psychic lines only to be oh, left with an empty helpers. feeling? Well, you deserve better. Yeah. Call the Psychic Readers Network and speak to a psychic who really cares. We believe our psychics are the best, and to prove it, we want you to try us for free. That's right. Call now and you'll get a free sample reading with one of our gifted psychics. When I heard about the free reading, I just had to call. My psychic clued right into me. It was the best reading I ever had. It was remarkably accurate and very helpful. For answers to your questions about love, money, and your future, speak to a true psychic. Call now for your free sample reading. To get a free reading, why wouldn't you call? My psychic was very good. She let me right into promotion at work that I didn't even know about. Hello, this is the Leo. Oh, the Aquarian. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Hang on. Why call one of those other psychics when you can try us for free? Call now for your free reading. Call 1-800-290-2217. Well, before you head out to work tomorrow, you might want to check the road situation because it could be pretty dangerous in the northeast tomorrow. We have a freezing rain event, snow event also going on in the northeast that could really make driving very dangerous, especially in the rush hours. And we see here for Boston, maybe some flurries in the morning, but snow possibly two inches by the evening. So you need to be real careful there. Washington, D.C., you've had freezing rain almost all evening and probably through the a.m. tomorrow. But that should change over as the warm front approaches and you get temperatures above freezing. So it should change over. But for the morning commute, we'll be real careful there. New York City, again, for you, some snow, possibly an inch or so. And by the afternoon, could be changing over to freezing rain. Again, that warm air starting to override that cold air could change it over to freezing rain. And even further west in the Great Lakes area here, we see a dangerous situation. Winter storm warnings up for the part, northern parts of Minnesota. In Chicago, you just changed over to rain earlier this evening and uh, things have kind of died off. So this area here in the pinks and the whites could be very dangerous travel conditions for tomorrow. Why is this all happening? Well, it's definitely a nuisance. We know that. What we have is a shallow cold Arctic air mass in place across the area. We have this Southern, southwesterly flow aloft that's overrunning it and that means that's overriding the cold air. Actually it's just moving right over the top of it and it's pushing the cold air though even though it's riding over it, it is moving it to the north. So that's why we're seeing some of the places change over to rain. See what happens is once the front approaches, this is like the warm front, once the front approaches it's overriding this cold air at the surface that's below freezing and it, the rain moves through that layer of freezing air, hits the surface and it freezes on contact and that's when it becomes really dangerous. But as the front approaches, so does the warm air and it warms the temperatures up and it changes over to rain. So it's usually what you see. You start out with snow. This is in a warm front situation. You see this start out with snow, maybe mixed with some sleet. Then you see the freezing rain and eventually the rain. So in a warm frontal situation, you may get a lot of snowfall, but eventually it usually changes over to rain. Um, so the snow doesn't stick around too long. And it looks like it's not going to stick around too long in here. This area here should move up to the northeast and we'll get some snow around Boston, New York City, maybe changing over to some freezing rain. And then by the afternoon, by the evening rush hour, change over to some rain. So it could be dangerous in the afternoon hours, but uh, maybe getting a little bit better for the uh, evening. And it's those temperatures, check this out, very cold in the teens for the northeast and even across the northern plains at Arctic boundary, 
remaining along that area. But for Thursday, the temperatures looks pretty good across the south and uh, north of it though, that's where that cold air is and it looks like it's not going to go away. Tens and twenties for most of the weekend for the northern states, while the south, not too bad in the sixties and fifties. And by Saturday, or by Monday, that next big system moves in and we see the temperature soar up in the 50s, close to Cincinnati. So things are going to warm up a little bit there. Let's go back to Friday. Mix to rain for the northeast. Again, this could be dangerous driving for the next several days. And we see the showers develop in there once the Gulf starts to open up. Now that system's going to move off and we have to watch this one here. This is the next big potent storm that will be moving out of the Rockies. And by Sunday, moves into the plains. We see snow for Denver. Amarillo, maybe rain and snow mixed for you. Dallas, scattered showers and thunderstorms, maybe even some severe weather from Monday as that strong system moves to the east, collides with some of that Gulf moisture. We have rain all the way up into the Ohio Valley, but where we have the colder air back in the Great Lakes area, again, you're going to see some more snow. And boy, you have had lots of snow. And the Pacific had some snow in the Cascades. We got that coming up next. When you watch the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after the hour, you get an extended outlook with the five-day business planner. At 42 minutes after the hour, get the temperatures and conditions across Europe with international weather. At 55 minutes after the hour, find out how the weather will affect your drive with a Michelin Driver's Report. And no matter when you tune in, you're never more than minutes away from your local forecast. The Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. Now your local forecast, accurate, convenient, and dependable, only on the Weather Channel.